In this short video we're going to see how to calculate the pH of a strong acid or base. Concentrations of acids and bases can vary over many orders of magnitude, so to compare them we'd have to often use scientific notation. But it's much more convenient to actually use a log scale to compare them. And so we define pH as being minus log to the base 10 of the H plus concentration, and POH is minus log to the base 10 of the OH minus concentration. If we're looking at an acid, we might want to use the first. If we're looking at a base, we might want to use the second. But often we want to think about them both at the same time. And luckily this is really easy because at room temperature, the pH plus the pOH is equal to 14. So if we know one of them, we can always work out the other by taking it away from 14. There's not many strong acids. There's the mineral acids like sulfuric and nitric. There's the hydrohalic acids like HCl, HBr and HI. No, not HF, that's actually a weak acid. A strong acid is one that completely dissociates. So if we put it in water, HCl completely splits up into H plus and Cl minus. So if we have a bottle that says it's 0.1 molar HCl, we know that it's 0.1 molar HCl splitting up completely into 0.1 molar H plus and 0.1 molar Cl minus. So the H plus concentration is just what it says on the bottle. If we have a solution of 0.1 nitric acid, it's also 0.1 molar in H+. So both of these acids, both of these strong acids, have the same concentration and the same H+, concentration. So if we were asked to work out the pH of a 0.1 molar HCl solution, we know it's a strong acid, and so the H+, concentration is 0.1. So if the point H+, concentration is 0.1 molar, pH is minus log to the base 10 of 0.1, which is 1. If we're asked to work out the pH of a 0.05 molar nitric acid solution, it's a strong acid, and so we know it will split up completely. So the H plus concentration will be 0.05 molar, and the pH is minus log to the base 10 of 0.05, which is 1.3. So what about bases? There's not many strong bases. In aqueous solution, we have the hydroxides of group 1 and 2, except beryllium. And similarly, to strong acids, strong bases are those that completely dissociate. So we have a bottle that says 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide, 0.1 molar NaOH. We know that that will have completely split up into sodium ions and OH minus ions. So if the bottle says 0.1 molar NaOH, then we have a 0.1 molar OH minus concentration. Just be a little bit careful. Remember that we can have different stoichiometries. A bottle of 0.1 molar calcium hydroxide because calcium hydroxide has two hydroxides for every calcium. When 0.1 molar calcium hydroxide solution dissolves, we get two OH minuses. So if it's 0.1 molar calcium hydroxide, the OH minus concentration is 0.2 molar. So we've just worked out the OH minus concentration, not the H plus concentration. So how do we work out the pH? Well, first of all, we calculate the pOH using the definition we saw earlier. POH is minus log to the base 10 of the OH minus concentration. And then we just simply use pH plus POH equals 14 to calculate the pH. So let's do a couple. So 0.1 molar NaOH solution. We know it's a strong base. 0.1 molar NaOH means hydroxide concentration is 0.1 molar. So if OH minus concentration is 0.1 molar, POH equals minus log of 0.1, which is 1 pH plus pOH is equal to 14, so if the pOH is 1, then the pH must be 13. Let's do a second example. What's the pH of a 0.1 molar calcium hydroxide solution? Looking at the formula, calcium hydroxide has two OH minuses for every one calcium, so a 0.1 molar calcium hydroxide solution has an OH minus a hydroxide concentration of 0.2 molar. So from there, we work out the OH minus concentration is 0.2 molar, so the pOH is minus log to the base 10 of 0.2, which is 0.7, and the pH plus the pOH is equal to 14, so the pH is 14 minus 0.7, which is 13.3, and that's it.